Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. The process of uranium enrichment is all about physics, specifically the science of isotopes and how we can separate them. Natural uranium consists mostly of two isotopes, uranium-238 which makes up 99.3% and uranium-235 which is just 0.7%. The problem is only uranium-235 can sustain a nuclear chain reaction which is needed for both nuclear power and weapons. So to make uranium useful we have to increase the concentration of uranium-235. This is called enrichment. But how do we separate these nearly identical atoms? That's where physics comes in. The most common method is gas centrifuge enrichment. First, uranium is converted into uranium hexafluoride gas or UF6. Since uranium-235 is slightly lighter than uranium-238, the gas molecules containing uranium-235 move just a tiny bit faster. When this gas is spun at approximately high speeds, in a centrifuge up to 100,000 revolutions per minute. The heavier uranium-238 molecules are pushed outward more than the lighter uranium-235 molecules. This creates a slight difference in concentration with more uranium-235 near the center. By repeating this process thousands of times in cascades of centrifuges we can gradually increase the percentage of uranium-235 from less than 1% to around 3 to 5% for nuclear reactors or much higher for weapons. Another method though less common today is gaseous diffusion. Here UF6 gas is forced through a porous membrane since lighter molecules move faster Uranium-235 passes through the membrane slightly more often than Uranium-238. However, the difference is so small that this method requires thousands of stages to achieve meaningful enrichment, making it less efficient than centrifuges. The physics behind enrichment is all about tiny differences in mass and speed. Even though uranium-235 and uranium-238 are almost identical, their slight mass difference allows us to separate them using high-speed rotation or selective diffusion. This process is complex and energy-intensive, but it's essential for producing nuclear fuel and understanding it helps us grasp both the benefits and challenges of nuclear technology whether for energy or security. Uranium enrichment is a fascinating example of physics in action. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.